So our last race on day two is race 24. It's the Auriga Novice Chase over three miles and a furlong. Number one is Dobrez, Daniel French. Two is Hope Springs Eternal for Joshua Southern. Three is Smokey Joe for Paul O'Neill. Alpicap Cap for Darren Thompson is four. Amazing Yourself for Graham Clutterbuck is five. Furrow's Stargaze for Martin Eden is six. Buffoon's for Alex Cherry is seven. And Pampolina for Paul O'Neill is eight. So just eight of them to go over three miles and a furlong here. This Novice Chase event back at Cheltenham. I'll wait for these horses to settle down. It's a little pretty eight as they go up here now, and away from the grandstand. It's a very reluctant Smoky Joe and Dobretts that are leading. Plenty of hold up horses here. And we've gone off at a pretty pedestrian pace. Finally, Smoky Joe has to take it up. As Dobretts takes a keen hold and shuffles back into the Pack as they get to the first of 20. They're all over it. Two poor jumps to the rear by Furrow, Stargazer, and Bafus. will be Mattel and Charlie's as uh, we go through the first couple of furlongs. So it's Smokey Joe over the second. The water, they all jump that a little bit better. Smokey Joe from Hope Springs Eternal Wide. Then Dobrett's up against the fence. Alpy Cat. Pampolina. Red silk green sleeves. Welsh silks of Amazing Yourself. Go over that a bit stickily. Drops back a little bit. And the Foos and Furrows stargaze up. But it's Paul O'Neill's Smoky Joe that leads him into the fourth. And we'll get over that. From Hope Springs Eternal in second. Another Alpy Cat towards the fences. Dobrets. Followed through by Paul O'Neill's second horse, Pumpalina. And just Amazing Yourself, the Foos and Furrows stargaze are towards the rear. Get to the big ditch, the fifth. And we'll get over it. It's still Smoky Joe that leads us from Hope Springs Eternal, Alpy Cat and Dobretts. Come downhill for the first time, go over the six. And take it well. Making yourself as a little bit slow on the landing. Skip to get away from that one. With a little bit more traction control. So we're still over two miles to go. It's Smoky Joe that leads him into the seventh. Oh, we've lost one. Hope Springs Eternal has gone for Josh Sutherland. Unlucky. Another one out. I think we can safely say the National Hunt Championship's in the bag for champion trainer Leon Van Rensburg. Back to this race. And the Auriga Novice Chase is being led by Smokey Joe from Alpi County. He's only in second. Dobretz is third. Pumpolina is four. Amazing Yourself is five. Buffoos is six. And Farrow's Stargazer makes up the seven. All in Indian file. Still plenty of racing to go. And we've still got well over half the fences to take. And it's Smokey Joe that still leads us. Pace has got a little bit quicker, but not by much. He leads him over the ninth. Everybody gets over it. The ground, side the grandstand. Go off for another circuit. We take the tenth. Everybody gets over it. And it is Smokey Joe. Still leading by about three or four to Alpy Cats in second on his own now from Pampolina Dobretz and Amazing Yourself together. But who's the length detached from those? And Furrow Stargazers a further two or three back. But it's Smokey Joe. Reluctant leader at the beginning. It's still out there. Leads by four still from Alpicat in second. We'll come to the next and start going back up here again. Smoky Joe that leads him into that. Oh, Buffoos went straight through the top of it. Shuffling back a little bit. But it's still Smoky Joe. Leading into the next. Rides into it, gets over it well, the water. Smokey Joe from Alpy Cat in second, Dobretz is third, Pampolina, Amazing Yourself, 4-5 back to Buffoos and Furrow, Stargazer, There's 9 furlongs still to travel as they go to the ditch, the 13th, everybody's over it, and Smokey Joe's leads down to just a length and a half now to Dobretz in second, Alpy Cat's third, Pampolina's four, Amazing Yourself is five, oh, and he didn't get over that well, Amazing Yourself, he's going to have to jump better in the last six, from Buffoos and Furrow, Stargazer, and up front, Smokey Joe just shuffles back in front now from Dobretz. These two are going to reach the next together. They do. They both get over it. Dobretz was a little bit slower. But it's Smokey Joe heading downhill now. Inside the final seven, it's Smokey Joe from Dobretz. 
three or four back to Alpi Cat, Pampolino, Amazing Yourself, Buffoos and Furrow, Stargazer. They get one well drawn out now, and it's Smokey Joe that leads by a good couple of lengths to Dobretts, and there's a five length gap back to Alpi Cat, three further back to Pampolino, Amazing Yourself, Buffoos and Furrow, Stargazer. I can't see, so with five furlongs to go, and they go over the 17th. So there's just three to jump, and it is Smokey Joe and Dobretts from Alpi Cat trying to run on and close the gap. Pampolino's not going to win from there, neither is Amazing Yourself, Buffoos. A furrow stargazer. They've all got to catch this leader as Smokey Joe smokes on further away now with just two to jump. It's Smokey Joe from Dobretts and Alpicat. It's going to be between these three inside the final half a mile. Smokey Joe by about five to Dobretts and Alpicat. He's all, 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 all anything but uh, full and he'll win this. So three furlongs to go. Jockey has a quick look round, but it's still three furlongs as Dobretts tries to run him down. Alpicat as well, but Smokey Joe just two to jump. Comes to the penultimate. It's Smokey Joe looks round again but here comes Don Dobretz for Daniel French it's Smokey Joe for Paul O'Neill into the 19th takes it well but a great jump by Dobretz brings him alongside so it's Smokey Joe and Dobretz running on still well is Alpicat and it's Dobretz that takes it up inside the furlong and a half he gets over the last much better than Smokey Joe just starts to give way now loses his second place to Alpicat and it's going to be Daniel French is going to take this coming up the hill here it's Dobretz by about three or four to Alpicat in second Poor old Smokey Joe's uh, drifted right to the back and found this just a little bit too far from him. A good seven or eight lengths back from that. Smokey Joe Buffoos, amazing yourself. Far as Stargazer got up in front of Pampolina. That's your winner. It's Dobretz. The last race of the day goes to Daniel French. And Darren Thompson's Alpicat in second. Paul O'Neill's Smokey Joe was third, our long time leader. Fourth was Buffoos for Alex Cherry, and fifth was Amazing Yourself for Pontypool Racing. Well, well done to James Shea for winning the Grand National. We'll move on to day three and come in to, into the final couple of weeks of uh, the league.